G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here, back with more Conan Exiles. So if you can't remember where we're up to, join the club, because I'm trying to remember the same. Um, I do know we need more brimstone. That is going to be one of the... Uh, one of the targets for today. Uh, we're going to take one of our... Um, one of our thralls, and we're going to go up to the cave and get some more brimstone going. Um, also want to put a palisade out the front for some defense, and I sort of hinted, I seem to remember now that I hinted in the last episode something about Rimworld. Um, so I may, I may show that off. Uh, we're going to need a lot of wood, though, for that, because palisades require a lot of the carved wood. The shaped wood, sorry. Um, if I remember rightly, like this proper wall palisade is 50. I can only make... Like, I'm out of wood. I can't even make three. So what I might look at doing is just making... Actually, that might be step number one. I don't think I need to, to use fence foundations, but I might make... I might craft up a whole bunch of fence foundations and lay them out at what I'm planning on doing. Now, originally, I was planning on coming from out of here sort of like all the way up to say here, across here, all the way over to this corner. No, we're probably gonna come from here and come out and just do a little, a little thing in front of the doorway here. Um, so yeah, it'll be, because the amount of resources required to do this is ridiculous um so that's what we're going to do uh how much let's just have a quick didn't get a chance to stream yesterday because of rain which i know sounds weird but it's it's a thing uh okay so we've got some more shaped wood there which is good. We've got some steel, we've got some iron reinforcements. Let's just chuck that and that in there. Well, actually, let's just make those, those three. We might as well, they're there. Okay, so, because um, I also want to see if they are just like the size of a foundation block or maybe they're much, much bigger. It'll be interesting. Let's just quickly have a look. And I also want to see if they need to be on a foundation or if I can just place them anywhere on the ground. So if we go seven in here, yeah, they are essentially just a single foundation block. Uh, and they can be placed anywhere. Okay. Right, well, we're not going to place these down yet. We'll put them back. As I said, we might put some fence foundations down first. And then think about doing that later. Uh, so we're low on iron, so we might do an iron run first. Let's just grab one of these. Guys, and get them to follow. How are you guys doing up here? Yeah, you're taking a long time.
pickaxes making it convenient. One weapon, or one tool rather than two. Ooh, excuse me. Hmm. I feel like this would make an interesting weapon as well, you know. It's big enough to be one. Uh, let's just... No. We might as well. a grease orb uh, and we want that there we go don't want the flash and, uh, there we go okay let's get our companion to teleport who says there's no magic in this game sure there is you can teleport your companion Oh, he's actually swimming this time. That's amazing. Normally he just teleports. Okay. Interesting to see if this pickaxe gathers as much iron as the actual pick does, because at, I've got it. My, I've got up to six hundred uh, iron out of a run through here with the steel pickaxe. Steel pickaxe with the. Uh, advanced tool watch him call it thingy on it as far as we go over here. I'm not going to head down that way. So there'll just be two more that we're going to get on our standard iron run that we do. Sometimes the game still thinks you're encumbered and you have to actually start sprinting for it to realise that you're no longer encumbered. It's a little bit weird. Haven't missed anything anywhere. What did we end up with? 6.13? Yeah, that's about what I used to be able to do with the, with the steel pick. So, not going to complain about that. there another iron stone somewhere just 
just along here that I thought was worthwhile getting. It might have been, but then there's those guys there that I've got to worry about. So let's not not bother with that. Uh, this will give us a good chunk of iron. Yeah, that's another 300 iron, and then once we get some brimstone, we should be good. So I want to repair. Oh, I don't even know if I can repair this at the moment. This uh, steel pickaxe. some medium gauntlets. I don't think we need a wooden bowl, but we get it anyway. Did we get any... Oh good, we didn't get any human flesh from that. Let's chuck that in there. How much did I need for that? I need 30. I'm close to that. Iron reinforcements are going to be a problem, but the rest of it is no problem at all. Uh, okay, a little annoying that I did, couldn't keep all of that stone that I just got due to encumbrance constraints. But let's come down here. Um, I'm not actually going to need a huge amount. But let's grab that, and then let's grab some wood. Okay. So if we make stone fence foundations, eight. That might, might actually be more than I need. Uh, no, no, it won't be. Um, but, so if I, you won't, oh, you pain in the butt, you won't snap that way. You will only snap that way. What happens if I do that? Ah, now I can do that. Okay, one two so let's put that there okay so what my plan oh well let's get some more uh, what are we what are we out of? Uh, it'll be stone. Yeah, of course it's stone. Let's get some more. Uh, I'm not even going to try and guesstimate how much more I want. Just get a bunch of stone, because stone is the stuff that we need a lot of for building. How many more can I make? Nine. Let me think. I did one out of there. Two, three. That It's going to be a good start. It's not going to be enough, though. Not for what I've got planned. Uh, but, hmm. Should have built these out of foundations, not just fence foundations, because I've got to remember that each one of these palisade blocks are actually going to be a full block like that. Um, but the idea is to build something like this. which forces 
and like it'll probably start over here and you'll have to come through this way through this way and like this to get in the problem here is is that I've already done this wrong because as I said each one of these is actually going to be a full block so they're gonna go all the way through to here so it's going to be this wide out to here but it actually has to go one further out because this palisade here will actually take up that full width there so this section here will have to come out way further so if I if I dismantle these um, so that's going to be the gap so that's all going to be one wide through there that's going to be one wide back here uh, so that means not enough resources for down on stone again. Just really quickly. Anyway, um, that's gi this gives me basically an idea as to how many resources I am going to need to do this. So if I was to count up the number of... And I really want to do this with, with the wooden palisades all the way around, but that's going to be so many resources. If I was to do it with the palisades all the way around, it's going to be one two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then probably seventeen, eighteen, 19 palisade blocks and I have three at the moment with all of the shaped wood that I've made um, considering that I need what is it 10 wood to make one shaped wood and I need 50 shaped wood to make one palisade that means I need 500 wood per palisade that's insane that's so two is a thousand wood and I want essentially 20 palisades that's 10,000 wood. 10,000 wood to make 20 wooden palisades. This is why you don't play solo, people. Tw like, you would want a group to all go out and start gathering wood from various places around the world and bring it all back. And then you probably want a couple of carpenter's benches just devoted to this. Oh, I've got all of, all of this iron that I haven't really been doing anything with. Silly, silly me. Let's put that in there, turn you on. Put that in there, turn you on. That's why I wasn't able to carry very much, because of that. Uh, those sticks can go in there. Uh, I have some steel and I'm probably going to need leather as well. Can I repair that? I can. 
actually, I don't think that used much steel at all. I think it said it used three steel and three leather. I missed it because my playback is so quick I couldn't see. But yeah, that... It might have used six steel and a handful of, like, and a few leather. That's pretty good because normally it's a ridiculous amount of resources to do anything. So let's chuck that in there. Um, we probably do want to make some more brick. So let's put all of that in there. Um, side with some of that. Let's put the... Uh, you've got more than you need there. I don't know that I need the wooden bowl, to be honest, but I am. I feel like I'm going to keep it for some unknown reason. Let's chuck that in there for the moment. Uh, resin goes upstairs. Because I don't really have a need for it. Oh, well, I can down in the carpenter's bench, but we'll just chuck it in there for the moment. Um, and the bowl, don't really, well, let's just chuck it in here, it is sort of, oh, I had the, that, uh, grease bomb or whatever it is we'll put out here in, amongst yeah, all of this stuff. Okay, if I'm going to do a brimstone run, what am I going to need? Most of my weapons and stuff are set up good. I'm going to need, um, let's just come out here and get a drink, first off. There we go. Okay, so we're going to need some food, we're going to need some heals, we're going to need some more ammunition. But I don't want to carry too much of anything. Did I? No, you're not carrying anything that you shouldn't be. Let's just go and put that away in the back, though. There we go. So, um... Food? Uh, no, food is not in here. Food is outside. All the food is in the thrall pot. We are going to take half of that with us. That is plenty. Um, we'll take those extra healing wraps, those extra aloe extracts. We'll take more than that though. Uh, we're going to take those two lots of arrows. That should be plenty as far as arrows go. We're going to take that standing torch and that. Let's grab another stack of Let's just grab that as far as healing potions go. Cannot apply poison to this. Can I do it to arrows? No. Uh, we'll apply it to the bow. We don't use it. The um, daggers. We don't use that very often. So let me see. I've got some healing wraps. I've got lots of potions. I've got lots of arrows. I've got food. I've got water. And I've got light source. My gear is all basically ready to go. Let's do this. Um, let's just eat a couple of those just to get everything back to full. Okay, so where are we headed? We are headed uh to executioner's entrance that has some brimstone inside it um lots of spiders as well but we can handle that that's why we bring a companion with us and lots of potions etc cetera. 
We've already previously come along here and put down blocks on most of the bad spawn points. Actually, I should make a couple of extra um, foundations and plop them down just outside of Executioner's Rest or whatever it's called because there are those spiders that spawn just outside and it might be advantageous to stop them spawning as well. Hmm. I thought I had stopped this croc up here from spawning, but I guess not. Let's do that. Uh, yeah. That's all I need there. And I don't remember how much of this I will need, but let's just see if that's enough to make a... Uh, there we go. It was. Five wood is more than enough. Let's chuck you there. And... You were spawning right about there. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly on the spot. But close enough is good enough. Um, we might as well, as I said, if I can get another couple... Okay, that should be plenty of stone. Just get a little bit more wood. Okay, we've got two more there. Uh, yeah, we can carry that. It's not a big deal. Okay, this guy is going to be a pain in the butt because he's trying to protect his herd. this way, ignoring the village next to us, and then, was it up or down here? It's down, but you come down this way, there we go, uh, was there any more? Kudzu males? I don't think so. At least I don't see any right at the moment. Right, you're just jumping over rocks. Is that all? Okay, so we need to come up this walkway here, and it's that cave up there, if you haven't seen this before. There's another kudzu male. said that. There we go. And once again, we'll drop that. And you can put that away. Okay. Where are the spider spawns? Up here. Yes. Up on that hump right there. Are there any... any that spawn down there. No, I want this first. Got him. These these spiders, which look a lot like the huntsman spiders to me, are actually really easy to kill. Like, ridiculously easy. Uh, what do we get with this? Chitin, 
feral flesh. Yeah, I don't remember getting much in the way of um, much in the way of gossamer from these guys. Okay, so there's just one more right there. And a couple of quick arrows like that will stop him spawning. So I reckon if I chuck one right there and maybe one right there that might stop those guys spawning. There are going to be more inside, but that's not a big problem. Now, here's what we're going to try and do. So first of all, we're going to try and kill as many of these guys at a distance as we can. Just like that. But when we start fighting inside, we are going to use... We're going to chuck down this torch. You picked the wrong fight! So we're going to have to eventually... Yeah, see, it's starting to get dark now. We're going to have to eventually start fighting... There's nowhere... Damn it, there's nowhere to put it! Oh, that sucks. That sucks big time. Okay, we might have to see... It does... No, how much does that do? Eight damage. Taste death. Well, it does work to kill them, but... Not well. Someone said they thought some of these stalactites and stalactites were also brimstone, but I'm not seeing it. The brimstone has a very distinctive colour. It's got this light tan, like this. I'm so annoyed that I can't put... My plan was, was to drop one of these standing torches down and sort of fight next to it. So I would find a spot and go clunk, pop it down, and then stand and fight. But that's not going to be possible. Just see enough. Okay, that's 190 brimstone, which technically means 190 more steel that we might be able to make. Doesn't get any better down here. I'm not seeing anything. Are there any more spiders? I see one right up the back. I see two up the back. this brimstone? No, it's nothing. Like, this is iron, but I don't want more iron. I'm here only for brimstone at the moment. Oh, that looks like... Oh, and that looks dangerous as well. As does that. It looks like there's going to be 
couple of massive spiders just jump out at us. Charge out of holes. further do I push my luck? That. Okay, it does look like that's another big bit of brimstone. Two big bits of brimstone here. Curse you! There we go. Yeah, I can see a handful of more, handful more spiders down there. say we had we've got 628 brimstone right now That's a lot of spiders. And I think I've got enough. So we're heading out. Uh, got nothing from them with that. Just chitin and feral flesh with that. What about this? Nothing. Uh, what about this? Chitin, Icor. We're getting everything. But no. Yeah, we're not getting any. Um, we're not getting any gossamer with those guys, so I'm not even going to bother chopping them up. I don't need chitin that much. And I'm sure I might want Ica at a later date, but for right now, I'm good. Not going to... Uh, oh, did I miss this bit of brimstone, or does it, did it reappear? I don't know, maybe that respawned. I can't imagine I missed it. It's just sitting there after all. All right. Get the bow out just in case. No, of course they're not going to respawn. I put blocks to stop that. Okay. So what do we end up with? Nearly 700 brimstone. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got enough tar. To, to turn all of that into steel fire. But I guess we'll find out when we get home. G'day Saint Salvius. I am right here at Executioner's entrance. 
the big spider mine up there that has all of the brimstone in it. It's not the only brimstone location, but it's one of the ones that I know of. And when I can go in there and come out with 700 brimstone out of one little run, I'll take it. Uh, Kudzu hasn't reappeared, the Kudzu male, so we don't have to worry about him. little run. Let's hope all of my other little runs that I do today are going to be just as easy. Just trying to think what else I might need to do. I want my I don't know if I need to go and get more thick hide or not. It might be useful. Uh, wrong, wrong way down. Yes, over this way. There we go. Could come and raid this village at some point, I guess. thing I need well, I need a, I need to cook another no another armor is not worth it I need a blacksmith another smelter is the one that I want that's what I want another smelter because I've got two smelter two furnaces and only one is currently managed um I mean, if I can get all of my various benches to have somebody on them, that would work. But for now, let's come and get this brimstone a brewing so we can make some more. I wish you could stop that. Like, I wish you could pick up the book. Like, it's this thing here that causes that noise. You can interact with it, but you can't actually pick it up or get it in any way to stop making the noise when you go past. It's a little bit annoying. I mean, it's a really nice atmospheric effect the first time you go past it, but it gets a bit much after a while. So I was laying out fence foundations before for what I want to do as something to stop enemies coming in. But I'm not actually going to use fence foundations. Um, I'm going to use the... what's the names? Um, the wooden palisades. But I calculated the amount of wood that I need to do that. Yeah, I need 20, well actually I need 19 wooden palisades. To make 19 wooden palisades, 
I only need to cut down 10,000 wood. That's all. I might go and place those down in a minute. Uh, what have I got on me? I've got all of the brimstone. I've got food as well. And I've got all of that chitin. Where, have I been putting chitin in here? I have. So we can chuck all of that chitin in there. I've got some salt. That'll go in with the cooking. Uh, those branches can just go in there for the moment, as can the rest of that bark. That'll go in to be cooked. That'll go up with the alchemy. That'll go with cooking, cooking. And a little bit of extra wood in here. And a little bit of extra stone in here. There we go. Okay. Cook, cook. No, that's already cooked. Uh, cook. Thank you. Uh, the extra stuff that I took just in case. Let's put all that away. We did go through some arrows, though. We went through about a hundred arrows. Didn't feel like it at the time, I must say, but we went through about a hundred arrows. So, that is that, I guess. Um, how much? We've only got 225 tar. Is that all we've got? Ah, no. <sighs> we've got... 500. We've got more brimstone than we have. And it takes two tar per brimstone. Okay, well we've done well. Because we've got so much more there. That's good. I mean, I, I should have more tar down in here. And yep. all I have to do is make up leather. No, I don't have any more. But if I... Okay, so we've got 45 more leather there. Let's get you tanning all of that, please. Um, and I've got another 25 hide there that you could be tanning. And did I... No, good, I don't have any tar in there. I didn't think so, but I was going to check just to be safe. And you, don't, you don't have anything in you. That's all good. I didn't chuck any tar in there for any reason. No, good. Um, okay, we need... Well, let's... So, the idea is... Oh, it, and they won't even... They won't even really snap. So, this actually does seem like a good idea then. Because I can see where the... Actually, that's what I should do. Okay, I will do that. I'm actually going to put down... I'm actually going to put down fence along this line. So I'm going to extend that fence foundation out to where I want it to be. And then I'm actually going to put fence along it. Because ultimately, I can then use that to judge where... I should be putting the palisade like that and then the, it'll be backed by fence so the fences will all, the palisades will always go on the outside of the fence line so there will be more palisade outside here with a fence line in behind it more palisade down along here with a fence line behind it Fence there, fence there, palisade on the outside of that as well. That'll work, I think. That will work. Let's start. Um, mostly going to need... How am I doing for carrying capacity at the moment? That's not an actual palisade, is it? No, it isn't. Uh, I'm doing very good for carrying capacity, so let's... Just get a whole bunch of stone going. And then a little bit of wood. Now I think I said 19. So we'll make up the 19 fences first. I don't remember how many... 
um, how many foundations I'm short. Uh, I'm going to need... Oh, actually, I don't know what I'm going to need, to be honest. I was going to say I'm going to need like 700 stone to make nearly 20... Uh, but that would be if I was making foundations. I know they're about 35 stone, but I don't remember how many stone are required for the fencing. So let's just... Sandstone fence. Uh, yes, let's go 10... probably only need three more foundations, maybe four. So let's start placing these. Yep, that's correct and that's correct. And then we go there and there. And we go there, 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 and there. And then these ones, swap them around. Yes, that's out of... No, that one was wrong. Damn it. Got to pull that one off now. That one's right. And that one's right. And I'm going to need one, two, three more. Maybe four. Oh, I may... I must have miscounted somewhere. Oh, because there's a corner there that... If I was putting a palisade down, I would have a palisade there, and a palisade there, and a palisade there to make sure there wasn't a gap. Okay, so that would be that. So I need uh, three more foundations. So even if they break down the palisades, the so-called spiky part of the fence is still sticking out in all situations. Um, so that's good. So there'll be palisades, one, two, three, four, probably a fifth one here. Because actually, yeah, let me get one more. Let's put that down, and then let's put that down. Can you put a second one on top? You cannot. Okay. Well, it was worth a try. Um, and then there's going to be palisade, 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 and then one that's sort of on the corner here, and then palisade, palisade, palisade. palisade. Very good. And so that will mean if they want to come to the gate, they've got to get through all of that. And they, I don't. What I don't know is I don't know if the purge will actually path through that, or whether they will just try and bash their way through by, you know, running into the, the spikes. I mean, that actually damaged me to do that. I should not have done that. Um, so I don't know if they will just charge headlong at the gate and run into those spikes and get in trouble. But it means that no matter what, I've got a path that I can go through to get safely inside. And I could put another palisade in the corners there and even there and there if I wanted to. And even on this side of this wall so that you've got to... No. No, we'll be right. Anyway, 
Um, I need, let's just, just wanted to get that last block out of my inventory. Right. So it's going to slow me down coming in and out of my base, but it should hopefully slow the purge down as well. So now I just need an absolutely ridiculous amount of wood. Now I don't technically need... What do I know about this purge? Not a lot. I don't know how often it comes. Uh, I don't know how bad it's going to be. I really know pretty well nothing except um, except anecdotally what people in comments and, and in chat here have said about the purge. Um, the guy that was on the other night um, has been giving a lot of advice on the YouTube channel. Um, he has said that they... Like, the chances are the purge will destroy these items because they're outside the base. Um, it's And so he actually recommended putting the temple up on the roof, uh, which is not a bad idea, not a bad suggestion at all. I don't think I'm going to do it, though. Uh, it just seems like a lot of work. Uh, mostly because the biggest part of of doing that is is that I've already got essence that I've put in there which I don't think I, I can't take out all I can do is destroy this and create another one up the top so that sort of slows me down a little bit but anyway I um all I know is is that it it will likely destroy or partially destroy even this base that I've got if and when the purge comes. Uh, I don't even know how often it'll come. I don't even guarantee that it will. Um, so you just need to craft as much shaped wood as you can. Um, my understanding is, is that any crafting things like this, and even if they manage to get into the base... You know, any of these crafting benches may be destroyed. They they don't necessarily seem to target chests, though. So the advice was not to leave. Like, those resources in that table will probably disappear. Uh, any of that resource in there that I don't take out of there before the purge will, will probably be go. Um, and that's why I sort of try not to keep too much stuff in any of these at the moment. I try and keep it all in chests because I've been advised that it is likely that that will happen. Um, oh, there was more sticks there. I should just put those in there, shouldn't I? How is this going? We've got 171 more. Oh, you've done everything you can. Okay. Uh, you're working on brick at the moment. So that's good. Let's put those bricks away. Let's put that away. Um, and then I also... No, actually, that's about it. I, was, I thought there was something else that I'd heard about the purge, but no, I don't think there is. I think that's pretty well everything that I have heard. Um, I know that it's probably a lot easier to manage the purge... Uh, if you have a group of people manning your base, um, so there's 36 more steel fire, and Does it actually use... It uses five iron. That's right. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I know about the purge at the moment. 
Uh, I'm interested to have it happen and see what it's like. I'm also interested to see what, if anything, sort of warning there is. Like, will it will it happen when I'm not there? You know, um, which is sort of partly why I try not to spend too long doing anything at the moment. You're know, running around. I could have spent a couple of days in the last episode several days up getting as much thick hide as I would ever need um, but the problem is is that I don't want to stay away from the base too long not that I actually feel like I'll be able to defend the base all that well but I'll do what I can any of that it's all useful so we'll just take it easy coming back thought I could jump that. Oh, it's raised up this side more than that side. Right. Can only jump one side of it. Damn it, I didn't put all the other stuff away. The resin and the sticks and the bark. It's a waste. Bark, sticks, resin. Wood. That's not enough. I need 50 to make a single one of these palisades. 
That's why I need so many wood. 50 shaped wood, which means 500 logs to make a single palisade. That's just ridiculously insane. I mean, at least it's only wood, not wood and stone. That's the only saving grace. I mean, I do need twine, but twine is so easy to, to make and collect that it's no big deal. I didn't even notice that was getting low. Okay, I hope I got enough steel to fix that again. Uh, was it just steel I'm gonna need? No, there was leather as well last time, wasn't there? So, where is it? Nine steel and five leather. Well, that's way better than the iron tools that use like 15 iron. I mean, it's not great that it's nine steel, but it doesn't seem quite as bad. That's still the iron version of those weapons too. I need to upgrade those. Get that out of there. Let's put that there. How are we doing for food? I should go and put the rest of that in here so it doesn't rot. There we go. I probably need to consider putting another compost bin, not another compost bin, another planter in maybe. steel that you can do at this point. Okay. Let's put that away. See if there's any more steel fire available up here. Uh, no. Ooh, yes. Sorry. I'm going to get that out of there. What was that that went bad in there? There shouldn't have been any the bugs that I had bad in some way I don't know anyway what do we got here you're still plugging away another 30 okay it's gonna be slow going getting steel uh, so you can go in there you can go in there and turn on is there anything else that you're doing no there's nothing else you really can be doing. So that's fine. And we dump that in there like that. Okay. Um, wow, you've only got to be just that little bit too close to those spikes and you get a little bit of damage from them.
talk about an ecological disaster though, I mean I am just completely clear cutting this entire area. Why? Let's grab that tar because we're going to need it. Uh, let's grab that leather out of there. Leather away in there. Tar in there. Another eleven. I got a level before and didn't do anything about it. is how you use daggers, all right? Might as well just take all of that and put it away. That lot of good you guys were. I uh, shouldn't say that. I told them to, to keep a pretty close area. I want those guys to shoot it. Shoot though, they're both set on, I think they're both set on high. They should be. Uh, what have we got more? of that which we can use to craft to that another repair hammer I'm not sure what I'm doing with them yep yeah, we're just putting them up in there and more medium harness This 
should be finished making these two. So we can take them outside and place them down. Where are we going to put them? Put one right. No, do it from the other side. This one, at the moment, is going to be right there. There we go. All good. Um, get a couple of more trees out here. give you pretty well everything. There we go. And that one. I don't know what I did with my torch. I don't seem to have it on me. How are we doing over here? Do we have enough gruel? Yeah. But we're slow going. Oh, I was going to go inside and get my torch, wasn't I? There we go. I think I put it in my chest up here. not. Okay, so I just need to make a new one. Uh, where have I got... Should be... No. I don't have any. I don't have enough fibre. Well, we'll soon fix that. and make us a torch. There we go. No, just one. I don't need a gazillion. Because we all know seven is close to a gazillion. Uh, got a level. Let's just stand over here in the light. And have a look. Attributes. How about... Accuracy and encumbrance, and then feats, 16 points. What are we going to take? Um, I definitely start... Okay. So, because of the inability to put down the standing torch... The dismantle bench... Yes. Well, if you just go to the search here and go dismantle, there it is there. You have to have steel tools and the blacksmith already unlocked. And then you can get the dismantle. I think... Uh, which section is it under? It's under... It won't be under decoration, surely. No. Survival. It's under survival. There it is, under stone. That section there, under stone tools, the dismantling bench. So that's how you get that one. Um, 
Let's undo that search, though. What can we get? Yeah, what I was going to say was, going through that, um, that mine to get brimstone has pointed out that I probably do need an effective one-handed weapon. And, which I really don't have. Um, I mean, I was able to switch to the bow and still sort of see, but I feel like I need to, to do something else. So I think I have to take stone sword, which will then unlock... Let's have a look. Um, I was I was finding maces very effective, so I sort of feel like I want to go down that route. Um, as something that I can use one-handed, not very traditional, but so if I take that which require which uses three it doesn't is there a steel mace there's a steel mace i don't know that i even had to learn that to be honest i didn't i could have saved my points and just gone for steel mace let's unlock the steel mace and that's it we're going to leave the rest alone for the moment I'm um, not going to bother with a shield for that, even though I do have some shields already. I'm not going to look into anything more. Although it feels like there should be a steel shield. Why can I not? I don't have the points. That's why I can't take that. Okay, anything else for minimal points that I might want to take? No, no. Um, journeyman fence maker. It just makes fences that require more resources and yeah not not fast on them at the moment i'm gonna leave it at that so i think i will come inside and make myself uh, we have a bit of steel now that's the thing right i've got 35 steel there and i've got another 45 there so I want to make, uh, no, well, there's the steel mace, so craft one of those, but then I don't have the steel cleaver yet, or the steel, again, I'm too low on... Oh, I need shaped... Three shaped wood for that. Uh-oh. My precious supply of shaped wood. That I need for my palisades. Three shaped wood for... The steel skinning knife. Let's just grab these for a sec. If I'm going to put the effective tool stuff on those, what do I need over here? Uh, so there's the weapon damage kit. I think I'm going to want that. Ten steel bars and oil. But the tool upgrade kit is another ten steel bars. So I'm actually one steel bar short of making two of those upgrades, which would get me all... Oh, you're out of iron. That's why you're not doing anything. Oh, no, you're completely out of iron. We need another iron run. Okay. Um, dismantling bench. Let's dismantle the iron skinning knife and the iron cleaver. That'll give us some iron ingots we will put the cleaver 
and the skinning knife down there, even though they're not upgraded yet. I could upgrade one of them. Uh, chuck that in there and do that. That'll be able to get me two more steel. I just need one to get both those tools upgraded, and then I want to upgrade that mace at some point as well. Yeah, I've thought about going down javelins, uh, looking at javelins as well, but I think I prefer the bow. Uh, let's grab that. Chuck that in there. Make that as well. So we put that on the skinning dagger. We'll just wait here for this to... F well, we won't actually wait here for this to finish. We will put that wood in there and make another 23 of those. We've got 84 there, which will be another one of those. Let's chuck that on there like that. Okay, so we still just have to fix up that mace at some point. But we, as I said, we need to do another... Um, we need to do another iron run. I don't need to carry that with me everywhere. Put that and those in uh, there. Uh, you're okay for the moment. You're not powered by... No, you're not powered by anything. Oh, we have five more oil there. And we've got some putrid meat. Okay. Uh, you have a little bit of that in there. You and that. Okay. Um, what are we doing? All that can basically go outside. Yeah. can go in there, that and that can go in there, along with that, the oil can go in there, because we use it to make tinkering stuff, that can go in there, and that's just one, so we'll throw that away, okay, iron run, taking one of my thralls with me this time. Not that they slow me down or anything, but I'm just too lazy to stop and get them to follow. Didn't even get a chance to get up.
there's a reason why I never go that way. Just double checking, I haven't been missing any. Six thirty eight, that's a pretty good run. Even leading him, I'm doing a bad job. Got him. There we go. You got anything interesting? Yeah, I suppose you do. Take it all. And then I'll take your essence. As well. It's just normal wood. Very good. Chuck it in there. Craft two more. We've got another 52, which will be another palisade. Craft. We can put that one outside. The rest of that will go inside. Put the 
crystals in there for the moment because I couldn't be bothered going anywhere else. I've only got 79 of those blunt arrows. I need to make like a couple of hundred more. Is this where I want to be? Yes, I want to be putting this next one down, don't I? Coming along. It's coming along. Okay. Uh, that back there. So, what's it going to take to make? So, I'm going to need twenty iron bars. Uh, no, I'm going to need 40 iron bars, 200 sticks, and I don't, I don't have enough. Uh, no, hang on, I need to make 10. Yes, 100 sticks, that, and 20. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, sticks we've got plenty of. And we're crashing. Are we crashing? We're hung. Yeah, reinforcements. Reinforcements. He um he had the mad jukes. For someone who was just walking, he really had the mad jukes, that guy. Okay, we're crashing. Hang on a sec, let me fix this. Okay, we're making our way back in. that in there, and then we want a whole bunch of iron. Is that enough? Uh, there should be more iron in this one. 
quite enough to make the next, I think we're a couple short. Oh no, we can do another 10, beautiful. It's 200 of those arrows. Uh, let's grab that. Very good. Slowly but surely. slightly fortuitous side effect of that crash is that all of the trees have respawned. So we can go and, and all of the iron has as well, I could go and get more iron if I wanted to. Which might not be a bad idea to be, to be honest. Um, I want these arrows because I plan to go and do a raid on another village. And if I go in with these blunt arrows, I can basically just take everybody down. Knock them all out. And then choose which ones I want to bring back and turn into thralls. It's a little annoying, like... No, I won't say that. And, okay, there we go, we've done all of those. Back to crafting 101 more of those. So we're going to put these back in there like that. Very nice. Let's come and grab these two more. Palisade. So, yes, very good. They can go. There. And there. Brilliant. Now I just need to put them all along here. And all along here. And we're done. Not much work at all left. Um, how much are we making there? About a hundred, which is only two more palisades. Oh boy. Um, like I said, it, I need a lot. Uh, I need a lot. Uh, where is the sun at the moment? What time of the day is it? Uh, that's basic. Oh, midday. Very good. Um, I think I will be a little bit sneaky and go and do another ironstone run. Um, because I feel like the more iron I've got, the better. pickaxe make it or will it die part way through I think it has enough durability to make it
an arrow. Yeah, well, I'll take it. It's rare that I ever get any. Almost never do you get arrows back, so. Shouldn't complain. That's the thing, that little one up there that I said I almost forgot about. If I forget about that one, I tend to forget about this one down here as well. And just, I do the big one on the corner. And then I just come straight over here. And it's like, that's, that's probably nearly a hundred iron that you just completely forgotten. Well, not a hundred, maybe it's another fifty iron that I would have completely skipped out on. Because I was forgetting that there was a couple of little nodes. We've done really good this time. 703. Wow. That's... That's unbelievable. That's impossible. This should be the last. Yes, I have enough essence. Once I do those, or well, only one of those, I have enough to upgrade this. If I can get 350 bricks, 60 shaped wood, and 250 iron reinforcements. The iron reinforcements are going to be the hard thing to get out of that because I'm turning so much of my iron into steel now. Um, why are you not... Oh, you are on. Okay. What are you doing? You're doing steel now, and you're running low on steel, on uh, steel fire, to be honest. So let's put all of that in there. 
Let's see if we've got any more steel fire. Actually, in a way, I hope we don't have too much more because I do still need some iron, so I better not convert it all to steel. But we have another 107 steel fire, which requires over 500 iron. So, maybe don't take all of the iron that that produces and put it all... Oh, I have more steel fire in here. Why would Steel. Did I have steel in here? I did not. How much we got in there? Six. That probably won't be enough. Did we have any left over? No, of course we didn't. No. How are we doing here? You've got another 56 shaped wood. That's one more palisade. properly? No, it didn't. There we go. Uh, what am I... Oh, that's right. I wanted to repair my pickaxe. Don't I? Can I do a full repair with that amount? We'll see. It'll be close. If it's not a full repair, yeah. Good. Suppose I should consider cutting down some more wood, shouldn't I? Because we're going to need it. next uh, no Let's start over here I think I don't know why but not there. very good Yeah, it does. I There's enough variety at the moment that I'm still enjoying the game generally, but it is getting to the point now where it is a fair bit of a grind. As I've said before, though, if, you, if I wasn't playing solo, it probably wouldn't be as much of a grind because you could share all of the the chores amongst a group of people if you were playing together. That's a shit when I'm saying playing solo, I'm assuming that playing as a group, you're playing as a group cooperatively, not on a server where it's every man for himself. Um, but yeah, at the moment it does, it's, it's feeling a little grindy, the fact that I've just got to go and do this so much. I mean, the only reason this is grindy at the moment is because I've decided I want to put these palisades out. If I wasn't bothering to do that, if I was just going to try and trust the strength of my walls and nothing else, then I'm done. Um, and I could be off, you know, fighting more, you know, gathering more thralls, going to villages. But really, what you're doing all the way to progress... Yeah, it, it is a little grindy in that to progress in the game, you really have to be going and collecting a lot of resources all the time because that is how you progress. Um, I suppose the only thing is if I wasn't... 
if I wasn't trying to build so much at the moment, the only stuff that I would need is, yes, stuff to repair my gear and maybe... Hang on a sec. Why am I still going... Oh, I'm still going slow because the game is silly. Is the answer to that. Uh, I wanted to put that in there. Like that. And make more of that. Very good. Did I have more of that? No, I didn't. Um, that's dry wood. We've got so much resin here, it's not funny. And we've got a lot of sticks all around the place at the moment. What have we got here? Only 28. I'm not going to bother with just 28 of those. How are you doing? You stopped smelting for some reason. You're almost out of coal. Uh, coal. Coal. Nobody out here uses coal except for those two, so I don't expect to have huge amounts of coal out here. You don't use coal either, do you? Um, the only other thing I think I've got coal in is that oven and that there. I might just take all of that and give that to you. And I'm going to have to do a coal run. And then we might just split your coal. I haven't even used this yet, so... I haven't even bothered trying to cook any of this stuff. Exotic flesh, eggs and dried berries. So you can make fish strips or meat strips. Why does the, f the fish strips... Ah, I suppose the fish is salty enough already because it comes out of the salt water. That's why you don't need to use salt with it. Okay, so feral flesh, I can make flesh strips. Purified water. Savory feast. Oh, I have to put... Aha. Uh -huh. Dried berries. So, I could, what the hell, shade spiced fat grub. Okay, I can't make any of that shade spiced stuff because I don't have shade bloom. Soup, purified water, feral flesh and salt. Ah, spiced haunch, there we go, and spiced steak. So I should... I should get all of my salt and spices and put them in there for the moment. Now, did I have their seeds, their aloe, their yellow lotus blossom? Um, Pretty sure. What are these plants here? Desert berry bush seeds. Desert berries. Okay, guess who's going to now start farming desert berries? I think, because if I dry those berries. I can use them in a number of meals, which I didn't know about previously. Sort of surprised that you cannot use mushrooms in meals. Do I have to pick these mushrooms manually? The puffballs are dangerous, I think. I think they might be used in alchemicals for poisons and stuff. I'm not sure. Okay, I think that's... Alright, more desert berries there. And... A little bit there. A little bit there. A little bit there. 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 And 
there. Okay. Actually, while I'm here, even though I'm growing aloe, I might as well harvest all the aloe I can get and make up a huge stack of potions. No, unfortunately, you can only have one thrall follow you at a time. You can have as many as you want guarding the a place, but you can only have one following at a time. Which is... I mean, it's understandable, but it would be nice to... But they'd have to... You know, where's the limit? Where do you put... If you allow more than one, where do you, where do you set the limit as to how many? Then you got, you know, someone with 300 thralls running around after them and it just crashes the server and all that sort of stuff. So, from a game mechanics point of view, I can understand it. But it would be nice to have, like, two or three that followed you around. small ones are hard to hit for some unknown reason. Okay, let's have a look around the back here. What have we got? We've got, so we've got a whole bunch there. Let's take those seeds. Uh, no, you can finish that I suppose. Uh, Ooh, a hundred there. That's very nice. Um, so we'll do all of those in there, and then we'll put the desert berry seeds in there. And we've got five more there. You've got nothing. You've got one there. So if I split that, that's three in there, and three in there there. Very good. How are we doing for gruel in here? Oh, we're doing, we're doing alright, aren't we? Okay. Can't complain. Very good. Let's put that and that in there. Good. Now, drying rack. Gives us dried berries. Very good. No, mushrooms don't give us anything. Uh, let's put the mushies, that and that, in there. And then let's come up here with all of this aloe. This seemingly ridiculous amount of aloe. What can we do with it? I, st I need to work out where the alchemical base comes from. But prior to that... Actually, yeah, let's go and grab some leather to make some more healing wraps. Uh, is that all we've got? 182... It is. We're actually running low on leather. I can't believe that. Ah, uh, 97 there. There we go. Okay. What can we do with that? How many of those can we make? Ooh, numbing wraps. Oh, alchemical base. Uh... Let's grab three more leather so that we can make... Ten of those. Okay. There we go. Okay. Ten of those, and then make twenty of those.
All good. Here we go in here. 85. Chuck that in there. Oh, 99. Just give me one more, thank you. Okay, that'll be two more palisades. Uh, you're not really doing anything at the moment. There's nothing we can do with any of that. How are you going? You're not even turned on. So that might work a little better now. Uh, in fact, we're going to keep that on in the side for the moment, I think. Still don't know what to do with that gold stone. We don't have anything in there. We're not doing... Why is there 10 putrid meat? Uh, in there, I don't understand why there would be putrid meat in the torturer's chamber. That really makes no sense to me, but we'll go and put it... ...in there to make some more compost. What are we missing? We've got the bone meal. Oh! Fibre. Well, have no fear. There's 500 fibre. Which will be way more than we need. Wonderful. Um, actually, let's just double check and see if any of our guards have rotten meat on them. Yeah, another six there, very nice. And nine there, good. How are you guys doing at the moment? Oh, taking forever. Let's just double check up in here. No rotten meat in there, no rotten meat in there. That's just chugging away doing those berries. There's no, no rotten meat in there, very good. Triple check there's none in here. No, okay, can we put it around the back? There we go. Um, how are you doing? Let's take that out of there. Yeah, you're working on those. Very good. I might just chuck that in there because it makes sense. Okay. Uh, let's check these guys up on the wall. Yeah, I had a feeling you'd have a little bit on you. What about you? Yep. Now, let me just triple check your attack distance. We want high. And your attack distance. Uh, no. Behavior. Attack distance high. Actually, let's just double check that your tactics prioritized range. Very good. done, and that was a little bit more meat to put in here, and there we go, it's going to take a while, so those dried berries can come over here, and that's going to give us a lot of options. Uh, I feel that 
You did it again, St. Salvius. Great minds think alike. the skinning knife on this so we get a bit of hot bit more hide than anything else savory flesh that we get is going to be good but ultimately I want the hide because I need the tar from the hide to make steel fire but also this meat I can make into some of the some of those special meals Well, I can see a couple more over this way, so let's just get this guy. And maybe this guy, if he's going to just stand there and take it. at least once a week I think that you suggest something just as I'm thinking to do it anyway um, okay so put all of those hides in there go nuts on them please very good what can I do in the stove here with all of that savory flesh um, so there's the save oh I need eggs for the savory feast so the other options, uh, I could do some spiced steak. I could make 10 of those. And... Oh, quit your whinging. Go for a quick little swim back over to this island. I don't remember if this is going to aggro this guy or not. say not okay uh, but if I come over here uh, this this group here I can get over here though I think there is a is this got a a red back guarding the nest no 
because the Redbacks are hostile. Um, I forget if the thralls here they don't look any good. They look pretty cruddy, to be honest. So that's a performer. And what, you're just an archer. Got anything? No. I do have essence that I want, though. Thank you. And quit. The other guy despawned. Damn it. That's not fair. They're not allowed to despawn like that. Okay. Anyway. We got some eggs. That was the primary goal. Let's just swim the wrong way. Yeah, well, there is, so there's, in the big shell backs, there are ones with the green backs, which all of those ones that we saw were, but there are some that have red on their back. They are aggressive. They will always attack you when you approach the nest. Whether you plan to steal the eggs or not, they will attack you when you approach the nest. And then there are special ones which have like a greyish brown um, and they're the bosses and I stay away from them they're usually alone out in the middle of nowhere okay so uh, savory feast sure craft nine of those and then what do we got left I I think I can do a couple more of those, so let's do that. Uh, we don't want the human flesh, we'll just chuck that there. And those horns we so rarely need, but we'll keep them anyway. I don't want those cuts over heads. Get rid of them. And let's go and put this one essence in the altar how many did I need 250 iron reinforcements wow I better get started on that So the iron reinforcements just use one, so let's make all of those. And because we've got a couple here already, let's just chuck them in there so that we keep an eye on how many we've made. We're close to getting to the 250 that we need, but we're a little way off. You're not... Let's give you, say, 200. There you go. How are you doing with those leathers? You got 50 more tar for me, that's nice. Uh, how are you doing? 35 more of those. We've got two more wall palisades that we can put up. Get these tar upstairs and start them on more steel fire. Let's take all of that lot. Um, 
Palisades, that's right. I need to upgrade that mace, don't I? Haven't done that yet. So I can't forget it. sticks in there for the time being so let's put those back in there with that uh, might as well dump that stone in there um, so steel what do we got No more oil in that, no. Ah, I could queue up all that stuff to be cooked, but until I actually pressed start, it wasn't going to cook. Well, I'm glad I got to that. Notice that sooner rather than later, otherwise all of that food might have gone off. Um, okay. Let's grab... Them big grubs. How are them berries? Oh, there's a hundred berries there already. That is insane. Uh, okay, so let's get our torch out. 
I think I threw away a whole heap of bugs before, didn't I? Do those guys? Yes, they do. Just let that go. For however long it takes. How are we doing? going over here. So I need about another hundred iron. Make about fifty iron. Ooh. Well done, boys. That's because I'm impatient. I'm also a little impatient with you, Mr. Taskmaster. You are really taking forever to break these guys. I wonder if those archers helped out. It doesn't feel like they're doing much up there at the moment. Uh... You got 24 more of that. How are we doing over here? Can chuck that in. Can we make any more? Three more. 30 more wood for there. That won't be enough. Oh, yes, it will. There we go. One more of those. Let's chuck this up inside. And what have we got? to do, what to do, oh, purge meter, I didn't notice that, there's a purge meter down here, okay, so, we are a little way away from a purge, Yeah. 
he still has all 100 arrows. Now, he has his bow out. And he still all has all 100 arrows. He hasn't leveled up at all either. Is there a way to... This stat's terrible. Um... Oh, no, the only way I could get him to attack something would be to get him to follow me and then try and get him to attack a target that way, but it doesn't... For distance targets, it doesn't seem to work, I don't think. Let's have a look. If I go follow, and then I go... I try and queue on that target all the way down there and go attack target cannot be attacked. Is there one closer? There was earlier. So what if... No, so even though I targeted that, he, he cannot target it. And I don't know whether it's because it's too far away, or I'll have to wait till something comes a little bit closer. Is there anything over this side? Okay, so how are we doing here? We've got a way to go. We need another 50 iron. Oh, once again, you're out of... in there uh, no iron reinforcements 50 hopefully that's that's the right amount uh, how is the cooking going in here looks like we're all done 14 spiced steak and 9 savory feasts. Mid-grade food. Okay, let's chuck them all in the thrall pot. Uh, we should have a whole bunch of 
berry juice there. Nothing in there. Okay. We've got a lot more dry berries there. Oh, we've run out of bark. That's okay. We've got plenty out here. Which one's got all the bark in it? This one here. Have 200. show anything in the crafting oh that's because that's just seeds okay um, stop that don't want you wasting that okay chuck all those in there Oh, they're dried. No, I'm still doing it wrong. That's the one. Oh, God. Okay. And you guys go in there. Right, that's better. Um... No, I don't think so. The reason why these guys are going slower on the Wheel of Pain is because they're named thralls. Right, so I've got three named thralls in here, and they always go slower than the other guys. If I was to go and get... Let's do it, actually. Let's go and do a raid. It feels like that time. We've got one more space on the, on the wheel, so we might as well. Uh, and I'm going to do this solo. So we're going to grab all of our blunt arrows and we're going to put those away we're going to take uh the truncheon we'll take the steel mace just in no we won't take the steel mace we don't need it uh we will take another pile of extracts and that that's all we'll need oh actually we're not going to need that, that, or that. So let's just do that. Okay. So it could be a mistake not to take a companion with me, but... Uh, where do we want to go? Somewhere different. Yeah, back towards where the brimstone area was. We haven't been and raided any of the villages over that way. So let's do that. No, I don't think you can... Well... Two thralls. I suppose you might be able to. I'd have to make a second one and try it. My first instinct would be to say, no, you can't. Um, but I haven't tried it. Oh. There's a village over there as well. Where's the second croc? I 
There's the second croc. You sneaky bastard. Interesting on you apart from lingering essence and human flesh that I do not want. Okay, let's have a look at this village. So we've got you, if you can just stand still for one second. So that is another archer. I do want more archers. Actually, I want him over the others, if anything, because he's a level two archer. Uh, what else we got? We got some guy over here walking back and forth. don't really see anybody else in there just yet but there can't there can't not be more people in there okay so he's down maybe there can bone breakers bend oh hello there Is that everybody? Looks like it is. Okay. Uh, I don't know if there's anything you can do about these. Because that's basically another religious thing. That's I think that's Yog's Pit. If I remember rightly from seeing other people, people playing. Oh, stone Spear. Purified Water. I haven't had much of that. Uh, I'm not going to steal their banner. I can't. I don't know what, whether I can do anything with it. Okay, I think I'm going to take that level 2 archer. Who's out here. Which one was he? Fighter. Archer. You. You're coming with me. So this guy should be quick at a break on the Wheel of Pain, because he's not a named thrall. But being as he's a level 2, he probably will be a little bit slower than the other guys that we broke. But that's an assumption, which could very well be wrong. We will see. There's the archer there. Oh. What did I just do there? Oh, there we go. I paused it for some reason. Um, I need to get these fishies out of here. In particular, those ones there. I haven't checked on my animals for a while. Uh, can I get... No, do I need 10? I need 10 of the unappetizing. Okay. And then we've got more bones to put in there. 
so that's good. Got some purified water, which I have never used before, but I can use it in some recipes. And some stone spears. I don't know. I'll just... I don't know why I kept them, actually. They're useless to me. Uh, I just need that one oil. What have you got? Well, two will do. So you can make that. Now, I haven't upgraded that truncheon either. What do I need for that? Ten iron bars. stupid of me. Let's just do it this way. Put you in there. Okay, come back here. We've got the weapon damage kit that can go on that. And we've got that. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted that one. I think. Damn it. I cannot modify items that are damaged, of course. Ugh, silly me. That is an iron truncheon. Oh, I need leather. Of course I do. When don't I need leather? Uh, repair that. then I wonder which one can I use that I can very good I probably could have used the other one as well but it's a weaker one so you're wasting we can probably we might try dismantling it actually uh, and that goes on there so let's just put these away for the moment because we're not using them Although I should consider making some more steel, really. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Run around like a chook with me head cut off at the moment. good there, we're all good there. Yeah, 
how are we doing here? We've got 51 more shaped wood. That's one more palisade. And we've got another one there all ready to put down. Got some leather to put away. I wouldn't be surprised to see that our archer, uh, he's done a little bit, but he's going to hes gonna overtake these guys very quickly. It's still going to take a while, but, uh, you know, it took, you know, probably 10 or 12 years to break Arnie. So surely it's going to... Well, break Conan. Surely it's going to take, you know, a couple of hours to break those guys. Uh, let's put that back. Oh, I should have done that as well. Uh, steel arrows. Or do I stick with iron? I think I'll stick with iron for the time being. I can make another 200 fairly easily. I don't even need that. How many? So I'll need No identity? Thanks for the follow. Uh, so what am I going to need? I'm going to need a uh, hundred of those. And I'm going to need 20... No, sorry, I'm going to need... 200 of those. And I'm going to need 40 iron. I need to do another iron run already. Uh, iron headed arrow. Okay. How are we looking? Morning is approaching, or is it? I don't know. We'll see in a minute, I guess. Purge meter hasn't changed, which is good. I still need more wood, though, if I'm going to finish making all of these palisades. So let's get onto that. at home. I'll get a bit of light out. Where are we?
wraps to get our health back to full. I might need to put some more t um, standing torches out here so that the guys can see a little better. 700 wood. That's one more, pa one and a bit palisades. One and a third. Seeing as we're hanging around the base, we might as well chuck that in there, and that, and that, and those. That's right, there's another one of those ready to go. Okay, that's this one side completely done. Uh, what was I just thinking? I was thinking of doing something, I can't... Oh, that armor needs some repair. That's for sure. Uh, I do feel that this isn't what I was thinking. I feel like I need to go and get more iron. Oh, I was going to try and work out how much more... Oh, we're crashing again. I was going to try and work out how much more wood I needed. Yeah, that armor does need some TLC. Uh, let's, uh, let me just fix this game. Hang on. Yeah, if I'm going to repair my armor, I'm going to need to do an iron run. 
So that's that's making sense to do to do another quick iron run. Uh, I, I really wish it had a waited until after I did the iron run to crash because then I could have done a double run. Um, but anyway, I'm actually not using much or making much steel at the moment. I'm creating a lot of iron and then using it straight away. So hopefully, hopefully I'll get a good run of iron and be able to. Oh no, just don't do that. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Is that actually no? That's that's been used. Of course it has. Uh, I do need to fix that pickaxe though. How are we doing here for steel? That should be plenty. And a bit of leather. And we'll repair that. Now, how are we doing? You're still plugging away there trying to make the 250. You're actually going to make a little bit more than 250, but that's fine. So that can all go in there. Uh, is there anything else? No, actually that's a pretty good... Pretty good for an iron one. Let's do it. No, you're not going to let me jump over the fence anymore? Okay. Well, that was the other thing I was going to do, was make... Make a couple of standing torches just to put out where those guards are so there's a bit more visibility. We'll do that later. I mean, that's not super urgent. It's something that we can, we can do at any time. How's the purge meter going? It hasn't really moved much, which is good. Just to clarify, the reason I one of the reasons why I need to do the iron run now is because repairing this armor requires iron, uh, not steel. So, yeah. Oh, good. We pick up any stone. I'm just going to chuck that stone for the moment. Every little bit of extra weight I can drop along the way. Good. No limbs that time. Wandering through the weeds like that. I know exactly where I'm going. I've done this run so many times now that it's. I can almost do it blindfold.
different this time. Let's get that coal there. Fifty two coal to stoke the smelters. Seven hundred we got last time, but that's that's how random numbers work, people. Might as well drop that. Didn't get any flesh out of that. That seems strange. G'day, Fortius. How you doing? Let's grab those. Let's go and chuck these in here. Have we got any more? Uh, oh, there's enough room. Let's chuck that in there. Go. How's our archer doing? Yeah, see, he's coming along a lot quicker than the other guys. And you know what? I think I'm going to take the steel fire out of there. Let's split that. Let's give you most of that. dismantle these because I don't really need them and then let's make some more oil out of whatever we can with these guys there we go and we got some more berry juice which is good and we got some more spice to put in here And more stuff for the compost heap. Let's grab that. Put half in there. And half in there. Very good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need as much iron as you guys can give me. Do we have any more iron in here? Just steel. Ooh, got a little bit of iron. Oh, well, no, we're using all that to make 
some of that. Uh, I feel like I'm probably going to need leather as well. So let's have a look. Prepare that. Didn't pay attention to how much that used, but I think it used a couple. Seven iron and five leather. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit to... Excuse me. Very good. Might as well repair the bow as well. It wants thick leather. I don't think I need to uh, do any more silk runs. I have 177 silk, and so far this is the only thing I've needed it for. There we go. Maybe there's going to be a recipe later. We'll see. Oh, that's what I need to do. Put those away. Uh, can I... Dismantle those. Nope. And nope. Uh, we might just disappear them then. All good. Um, what are we up to? Purge meter's not, not looking too bad. Uh, we don't need any more brimstone at the mo Well, actually, let's have a quick look. If anything, I need more tar to make more steel fire. I've got way more brimstone at the moment, I think, than I can use. So, yeah, there's another 300... Is that oh I need to go and tell it to craft that so yeah there's 300 more brimstone than we have tar so unless I can get tar from something else or you know grab uh, a bunch more leather um, we're not going to have much tar for a while So we've got 39 more steel fire, that's 39 more iron, uh, sorry, steel that we can make. So we've got 185, we don't need a lot unless we want to make like arrows or something. I mean, we might need it in building things, but so far we're doing all right. How are you doing? Okay, that extra iron doesn't need to be there. That I'm going to take out. That and that can get put away in here so that... Good, good discipline, putting everything away, and we will be all good. Uh, so let's put all of that in there. That's one more we can make there. Um, I 
one, two, three, four. So we need to make four more. That's what I haven't done in ages. Just been out here and checked on this. They are going oh so slowly, but we've got a rhino and a gazelle coming along. I've got more than they will ever need in there. Uh, right. Oh, yes. Let's... Let's make... Yeah, two more should be sufficient. Although I could... Two there. Let's make four more torches, just... Just because. So to make a torch, I think I need wood and fibre. I need so much fibre here. Full of wood. We have enough to make four torches. We do indeed. Oh, and then I'm going to need some branches because that's needed. This is the thing. I would have thought that was the other way around. I would have thought you needed a branch and fibre to make a torch, and then you would need wood, which I would have thought was longer as the pole to keep it up. But four... So, what I thought was, I know that I can put, I thought I could put torches up on top of fences. I wanted to find a spot. There's a spot where, it, where the cross disappears. I know there is. Right there. And then I want another torch. Sort of like there. Let's try and keep this reasonably level. So like there. And then I want to find this spot on here. There's going to be one somewhere. Right there. There we go. I mean, why is my health so low? I've been jumping off things again and not realising that I'm injuring myself. Uh, yeah, we need a lot more wood, don't we? Were you making any more palisades? You were. Okay, we've got 36 there. So hang on, I need 10 wood per, so that's 140 more wood right there to make the next 14 to make another stack so we need a hundred and forty wood let's 
it's just super quick. So then, that's enough to make that one, which means I need to make three more. Each three is 500. Sorry, each one is 500 wood. So let's get 500 wood. Well, we can. Very good. Okay, 500 wood. Let's just put that back in there. Fifty more. Beautiful. Next 500. away when I did that so uh, I don't know that the game has a story per se but you do have this bracelet on your arm and the only way to get that off, well, if you pull it off, you die, basically. Um, but that's what keeps you exiled in the lands. So there is this fence called the ghost fence, which basically encircles the map. I think it sort of comes down around here, because you can actually climb up to it just along here. And this ghost fence. Um... I believe that there is an end game. There is somebody in the game that you can kill. Uh, there is a boss that you can kill that results in the, am the bracelet being taken off and you are no longer exiled and are allowed to leave. Uh, and that's really the only reason I'm playing the game. Having said that, I don't know if I will get to that point or not because it's at the moment even though I have been playing for uh, 53 hours at this point uh, that still seems a long way off um, so I'm not expecting to be finished in another 53 hours. It feels like it. I'm not even a third of the way through yet. Okay, let's grab those. Let's put those in there, craft one more. Um, 
I sh didn't grab. No, open that, please. I didn't grab the other resources out of here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's just chuck all of that in there. So that's doing... Am I? Yeah, so we're making 87 there. So that's that and what is left in there will be two more. And we've got that one there. So... That's that one too. I need another 500 and that's it. 500 more wood and we will have done the palisade. Because I've got enough wood there at the moment to make two more palisades and I want one more for the corner there. So you can go like that. So one there, one there, and then one on this corner, which I might even try and put at a bit of an angle. I don't suppose it's really necessary, but I don't want them finding a, a way through here. If I finish the other one there, it feels like they might have a way through, and I don't want that, so. Uh, 500 more wood. It should not take much at all. We've been chewing through this pretty quickly so far. But, based on my calculations from the start of the stream, all of those wooden palisades that you see over there, that's 10,000 wood. Well, it will be when it's done. It will be a total of 10,000 wood. Actually, it might be 9,500. Uh, no, I haven't tried Subnautica. I've seen a lot of people play it, though. Um, I suppose the only difference... You say it's the same genre, but there is a slight difference. It is a survival game, Subnautica, but uh, there's a lot more emphasis in this game on fighting. Uh on combat which isn't as much in subnautica there is a little bit on it but it's subnautica is more exploration and survival uh you know and occasionally you'll have to fight off a a reaper or you know the, the um i've got uh way more wood than i need there occasionally you have to fight off things um but it's not it's not quite the same. Um, I have thought about getting it, but the other thing is, is I just bought, uh, I bought three games in the last week, um, which, you know, so I've got lots of games that I want to try on stream, uh, plus there's a couple of older games that I haven't played in a while which I wouldn't mind bringing back onto the stream and seeing if anyone enjoys watching them because there are a couple of games that I'm not sure if anyone else has actually seen well they will have seen them but maybe well some people will have seen them but I don't know whether my regulars will have seen them what new game did I buy <laughs> okay uh, just let me let me put this stuff away. Let me let me slowly crawl in because I wasn't paying attention and I got way more wood than I needed. And then I will show you in my list of games what I got and what I'm thinking about playing as well. Uh, so let's put all of that in there. And let's make one, two, three, four, five more. Okay, so that's another 30 there, which should be enough. No, not quite. Uh, 
So we put that, that in there, that in there, that in there. Let's put that in there, and let's put that stone in there. Okay, what I'm going to do is exit to the main menu for a second while we have a look at this. So, the games that I bought. I bought Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Inquisition because they were on sale. Having said that, I want to play Dragon Age Origins first. So I'm probably not going to play either of those straight away. I also bought Greedfall, which I am interested in playing uh, sooner rather than later. Um, I got long, The Long Dark a couple of weeks ago and haven't played that yet either. Um, but the other thing, there's two other games that I want to play. One is Planet Explorers, which I don't know if anybody will have seen. I mentioned it on stream a couple of weeks ago, or a week or so ago, as a game that I really liked. It's the same sort of thing. It's a survival combat genre thing. I don't even know if the game is technically finished or not. I think it's... I think it is. Um, and it's one of those games... I bought this game... Like, I last played this game in 2016. I bought this game probably... I don't know when I bought it. Um, but I bought this game years and years and years ago. It was one of the first Linux games that was available on Steam that I bought. Um, and the game changed a lot over the time. Uh, when I first bought it. And it is it is a very interesting futuristic survival game. It's a bit like... It is a bit like Subnautica if you didn't land on a water planet. Right? Well, yes, there's Battle Brothers as well. I haven't played that in a while. Um, but then the other game that I want to play is Starbound. And this is another one which I'm not sure if anyone will, will know. But it's like a sci-fi version of Terraria, uh, which I've never played either. And this is another game that I bought years and years and years ago. And you might see I last played it today. I mucked around with it before stream just for a little while to see how it was going. But, you know, I've got 179 hours in that game and I've got um, 128 hours in Planet Explorers. Um, but just the, f the little bit of time I spent in Starbound got me interested in playing that again. And that one is another one that has changed vastly over the years from when I first played it. Um, so it was another one that was released, fully released in 2016, but I played it long before 2016. I don't know when I actually bought it, but... It was quite a while, quite a few years ago. Um, and, yeah, I have also done things like I've downloaded a copy of Legend of Grimrock, which I had another look at today. I don't know. I, I come back to this game every now and then, but I don't... I find that I don't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Uh, Project Zomboid, I've been interested... I had a look at that yesterday. I've been interested in giving that another try, only because I know there's new mechanics in it and... The game doesn't have quite the emphasis on guns that um, that Seven Days to Die does, um, but yeah, they're the they're the game like the games that I'm thinking about playing next is Greedfall, but I'm also drawn to playing around a bit with Planet Explorers and Starbound, um, just to sort of show those off for people who haven't seen them and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's that's the games, the two Dragon Ages and the Greedfall, or what I bought the other day because they were on special. 
And then, I, as I said, I've drug out. I also bought Majesty a couple of weeks ago. At the same time I bought Long Dark, I bought Majesty, I think. Um, I mentioned that on stream the other day, though. But, yeah. Anyway. Let's, uh... Oh, no. That's not what I was doing. But let's just dive back on here briefly. I'm going to do a couple more things, and then we'll, we'll finish up. Yeah, I I like Grimfall as Grimrock as well, uh, and I do a little bit better at puzzles, but um, I'm just not thrilled on the combat in that game because you've just got to, you know, madly click on each of the different characters to make them attack and everything, and yeah, and I feel like it's one. Of, I feel like Grimrock is one of those games where. You have to play it a lot to get the meta knowledge to know like the the way that you should build all the characters and which characters are the best ones to have and all that sort of stuff because like i i had a look at that yesterday and i was playing around a little bit and the mage that was there you know i i leveled them up wrong um because I thought that one of the spells was a air spell when it was actually an earth spell or something, and it made all of that useless. And I'm just like, no, nah, it, it. The concept of the game is good, but yeah, I'm not sure about. You know, I don't know that I like it as much as I had hoped I would. Um, but it is one of those games which I pull out every now and then and go, I should give that another try. And then I get to about the same place in it every time. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, see, I've got my doubts about Greedfall as well, about how much I'll get sucked into it, whether it'll really get me as much as some of the other games like Skyrim and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know, but it is on my list. I I, I want to play Conan a little bit more. I don't know how much more. I think I want to see a Purge is probably the main thing. Um, and just sort of see how this base fares in a Purge situation. I also sort of feel like do you want to shoot him, please? He's got to be within 30 meters. Look, if I change your behavior to do engagement attack distance 50 meters. Is he just out of range now? That is not 50 meters to there. If it is, the, um, the distance units in this game are all screwed up. Because that's maybe 30 meters he's 50 meters where he is now at the moment and I can make that shot so you should be able to as well I'm going to up this guy to 50 as well because I don't know that I no, I don't know that either of them are, are doing what they're supposed to Behavior, engagement, attack distance, highest. There we go. Come on. I want to see you attack that guy when he comes closer. I could go and kite the guy. See if I can get him to get close enough and see where that 50 meter range actually is. Okay, I wonder if, like, because, like, the health bar keeps going away and then coming back. And I've noticed that it keeps coming back. Like the health bar will disappear. Like that. And it comes back once this guy moves a bit closer. 
and as he goes away, it disappears. So it should go away now. Okay, now as the guy comes back, it's gonna, okay, the health bar's back, and he's got the little fist there. Are you gonna shoot or not? You've got arrows. You've got a bow. Why, and why are you not shooting him? Behavior, engagement. Attack all enemies? Maybe, rather than guarding the area? Uh, like, I know that the tactics I've got prioritized range already on them. Yeah, maybe the torch is messing with him. Let's have a look. See if I can... I hope the fence isn't messing with him as well, because that's going to be a pain in the butt. Okay. Is he going to walk around? No, he's walking across the top. Why you no shoot? You have a hundred arrows. You have a bow. There was some uncertainty the other day about whether they have to be supplied with arrows or not. So I've taken the arrows off him now. But he wasn't shooting before anyway, so... don't have to associate arrows with the bow at all, so that seems to be alright. Let me take that off you though. Here. I want to... by much. Come on. Oh. over there again. Okay. So, where's he gonna come? He can't find his path. Take death. Oh. 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 
uh, fences in the way. Hell now. Uh, let's dismantle that. Dismantle that. If I tell you prioritize range, which you already were doing, engagement, attack all enemies, behavior, uh, engagement attack distance highest at 50 meters where's your bow you don't even have it in your hand Sort of got spooked by the, the antelope or whatever they are. But yeah, I wonder because when I was here and trying to shoot down, some of my arrows, yeah, they're bouncing off the top of the, the fence. Um, so as much as I like the idea of the of the fence there. all the way around um, it may actually be a hindrance I want a new guy to spawn over there got him right, go yeah. and, uh, harvest that guy up oh hang on do we have any more No. What I'm thinking I could do is I could have a ceiling 
like one block down have a ceiling sticking out of the wall and just stick them on stick these guys on those little ceiling blocks that are sick sitting out there because part of me still wants to have the fence there i can recreate it in a minute if it's gonna if i'm gonna use it but part of me still wants to have the fence there for me like i can get to a position or while I, if if there's a purge and i need to shoot down i can always you know break a block down and away i go these guys can't and so i think i'd like to have like a, a like a little crow's nest type of thing um, for them to to stand on and shoot from but I mean, for now, that's going to allow me to shoot down. But the problem is, if I fall down there, A, I'm going to kill myself. But if I don't, there's a chance I could land on my own spikes. Uh, what I was thinking, though, is... That's the perfect number. Yep. And I mean, I'm making a big assumption here, assuming that the danger is going to come from that direction. You know, any purge is going to come to the front gate. But that's... That's sort of the way I expect it to work. And so my idea is, is that what I could do have little places like that. Right. Where are we going? We are so close. Oh, so close to being done. Right, so... What I can do is I can move and guard and put you, like, right there, right? So he's up off the ground, so he can't immediately be attacked except from missile fire. And it means I can put the fence back up around here if I really want to and not worry that I'm going to walk over the edge or something like that. But these guys have a platform that they can shoot from. To protect the base. And if I got enough archers, I could put little things like that. I could put another one coming out this way and so that one could be facing that direction. I can put archers all the way around. gonna grab the last of the wool the shaped wood is done we're gonna chuck it in here we're gonna go craft you're right up there He's keeping an eye out. He's making sure we're not going to get attacked. One. Two. And then I want just the last one to go diagonally just there. To make sure that no one comes you know, rushing in there like that. And attacking the, the fence. So that last one should be ready.
go. Looking good. I want you to spawn. Hurry up and spawn so I can see if my archer will attack you. Two iron, even better. Let's chuck all of that in there. It's 260. We can make 185. No, actually, we can't make 185 steel because it's five five iron to one of those. Do we have? We have 251. Uh, we can stop that basically, and let's put those in. There, like that. We need some of that. Uh, I don't recall what else I needed, so let's just have a look. What else we need to upgrade this? Oh, it was 350 brick, okay, and 60 shaped wood. So that means 600 more wood and a ton more brick. Okay, we're not going to worry about that right now. Really wish you'd hurry up and spawn. How's our stables doing? Slowly getting there. Ah, and our thralls. Yes, see, our level two archer is already half done. Might actually need some more gruel in there. Let's just, I mean, I know there's a quite a lot in there already, but let's just grab a touch more. Say another hundred. Let's put this stuff away. That, that. Actually, I should get that. Did I pick that up? Get you making bricks, eh?
Aha! Let's see what happens. He's respawned over there, and the archer looks like he's paying attention. He's got the little fist above his head. No, yes, no. Are you going to shoot or not? I'm telling you attack everybody, and I'm telling you to do it at maximum range. So if this guy walks down here, actually I think it might even be a girl. If they walk down here and he doesn't shoot, I'm going to shoot at this person and hit them and see if he then shoots afterwards. You don't seem to be all that interested in those antelope or whatever they are okay you still are interested in him on and off or is it no oh, oh that was fun Take a shot. You can do it. Hasn't used any of his arrows yet. Here we go. Oh. Tactics ranged behavior tactics. Yeah, no, don't need to change that. Behavior engagement attack all enemies. Behavior engagement attack distance highest. Yeah, I, I don't know what... I mean, maybe he doesn't like heights. Or are you saying that the this guy over there is chicken? Come on, come down. Come around the corner. No, come down and around the corner.
feel like I'm going to have to draw him in. See what happens. Okay, he's finally attacking. Very good. Oh, and that's not good. At least he had his backup weapon. So the problem is, on those platforms, they fall. So the fence stops them from falling, but it stops them from shooting as well. So I don't know what else to do. have them effectively stand guard and shoot their arrows. He didn't use any of the flint arrows that I had on him, so they don't need ammunition. to think about this a little bit more. Um, I would really like there to be a way that I could keep them from like moving and falling over and not being able to take a shot but at the same time not block their ability to shoot down which the fence appears to do. So even with this situation here like this, I feel that what's going to happen is opponents are going to get right underneath them at the edge of the wall and he's going to walk forward to try and shoot down and he's just going to walk off the edge and land down there and get attacked. Um, you know, like having a little guard tower out in the middle of nowhere that's a few stories tall with fences all the way around it that I could plonk him in would be great but then he can't hit anything because he can't shoot down at an angle enough because the fence blocks his shot so I don't know I've got to think about this a little bit more probably tomorrow you know decide what I'm going to do for tomorrow but anyway um, yeah we did well today got a bunch more brimstone bunch a lot more steel a lot more iron and we basically gathered about 9500 well 10000 wood to put all of those wooden palisades out there uh, and build our little our little my little rimworld base this is the sort of thing that I would do in rimworld except I would put traps along the walkway um, because your opponents in RimWorld do not see the traps. Actually, the way you do it in RimWorld is you put a door 
in the walls. But anyway, enough with that. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to try and stream tomorrow, St. Salvius. Um, I didn't stream yesterday because it rained. And I often have problems when it rains. Uh, so my internet goes out. Uh, so barring any more rain, I do plan to be streaming. I just noticed. I do plan to be streaming tomorrow. I just noticed this section of fence right here that I had not seen before. I don't remember putting that there. Anyway, thank you all for joining me, and we will see you for the next episode. Have a good one. Bye now.